my name is Tanai Pongdi. I'm an allergist immunologist in, in the Division of Allergic Diseases at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And here uh, today I'm uh, going to talk about a review article concerning the evaluation and management of penicillin allergy. Many of you uh, probably know of someone who uh, thought they were allergic to penicillin or perhaps yourself uh, are allergic to penicillin. And that would be pretty common because up to 10% of the U.S. population reports having penicillin allergy. Uh, many of those uh, reports uh, stem from early childhood and many may not exactly remember uh, what happened to them, but that penicillin allergy is listed on their medical record and that goes with them wherever uh, they are. So it's a very uh, important thing to address because it comes up a lot uh, in treatment decisions. Uh, penicillins uh, are the mo one of the most widely prescribed antibiotics uh, in this country and actually worldwide. And penicillin and related antibiotics are still the treatment of choice for many types of infections. So if you have a listed penicillin allergy that may present a problem in terms of uh, infections that need to be treated because if uh, you have a listed penicillin allergy, obviously the antibiotic may be avoided. And alternative antibiotics could cause more side effects, could be more expensive, and also increase your risk for having drug-resistant uh, organisms. And this has been a major problem uh, nationally, as several studies have shown that having penicillin uh, allergy in your medical record uh, may increase costs of your treatment, uh, may prolong your length of hospital stay, and certainly may increase your risk for having uh, antibiotic resistant infections. So properly evaluating and managing penicillin allergy is of prime importance. The first thing we always think about penicillin allergy is uh, getting a good history and that would obviously tell what exactly happened to you, the signs and symptoms. Uh, classic symptoms would be itching, rash, hives, swelling, uh, trouble breathing, or perhaps even having a, a fall in blood pressure or anaphylaxis. Uh, typically those symptoms would occur fairly quickly within minutes of taking penicillin and would require you know, some type of medical treatment. Uh, in terms of other things to think about uh, when uh, assessing penicillin allergy is how long ago did the reaction occur. In many people who have penicillin allergy, their allergy will actually go away over time. So reactions that may have happened as a baby or in early childhood may have disappeared and you may no longer be allergic to penicillin. Uh, other important things are why were you treated with penicillin because many times the infections themselves may cause similar symptoms so perhaps uh, the symptoms that were ascribed to penicillin allergy were actually due to the infection itself so it may have been misattributed to penicillin. Other things are to really go through the medical record. Uh, you may have had uh, an antibiotic related to penicillin and didn't know it and have tolerated it. So in that case, again, maybe you've lost your allergy to penicillin. Uh, so those are all important things to keep in mind when looking at uh, history of penicillin allergy. Uh, we know that we have good testing for penicillin allergy. We typically do penicillin allergy skin testing. It's a fairly short procedure. Uh, it takes about 30 minutes or so. If the tests are negative, uh, your chance of having an allergic reaction to penicillin is the same as the general population, so we consider it safe to use. And penicillin allergy could be removed from your medical record, enabling you to use uh, a whole, uh, to enable you to use a lot more uh, antibiotics. If the tests are positive, uh, you would need to avoid penicillin. Or if you really needed penicillin, you could consider undergoing a process called desensitization. Uh, in that process, you would receive small doses of penicillin uh, every few minutes over several hours, and that would enable you, in most cases, to be able to safely receive the medicine uh, despite being allergic to it. Uh, that's a temporary situation whereby you could take penicillin for a, a short duration of time after you stop taking the medication, you would be considered re-allergic. Uh, any 
uh, type of procedure in that manner should be done under uh, close uh, consultation with an allergist. Uh, the other issues that come up with penicillin allergy could be cross-reactivity, so penicillins are related to other antibiotics. So that's also important in the, to get tested and evaluated for penicillin allergy because not only would you have to avoid penicillin, but many providers would avoid other antibiotics as well. So if you have a listed allergy to penicillin, it uh, may be worth considering getting evaluated and tested uh, because we find that over 90% of people who do that uh, end up not showing evidence of penicillin allergy anymore. And so in that case, you would have a lot more treatment choices available to you and obviously have the associated benefits of decreased costs, decreased length of hospitalizations, and decreased risks of antibiotic resistant uh, bacteria. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.